Hey, we're continuing the conversation with Dr. Mary uh, Hamer, who continues to stand by your and Vanderslood. Uh, your stand, what did you want to say? I just wanted to know, do you have family or close friends that see you behave like this? What, yeah. Yes. Uh, what and do they, the... don't, they don't think that this is unusual, like, like they try to back you off a little bit? or. What do the people in your life say about this? Well, my family doesn't approve of me supporting Iran. And I accept that. I accept that. So, so he's asked for $1,000 for a phone. It, do, would you continue to give him money while he's in prison now? Because he, he's, he's now been uh, sentenced to 28 years in prison. Right. He's appealing right. that. He's not, by the way, appealing the murder conviction. He's appealing right. the length of the sentence. The sentence, So he's yes. not challenging the fact that he has confessed. Although I'm challenging the whole trial, a mistrial is right, what I'm Right, I'm aware of that. For. But are you going to continue to give him money to support him while he's in prison? Yes, it'll be in much more modest amounts. I'm going to ask for contracts now and ask people to give me receipts. So, but, but, but you'll, you'll send him money to help him while he's in prison? Yes, yes, I will. And after he gets out, do you still hope he comes to live with you? He's free to do whatever he wants. I, I but you would like him to come and live with you. I don't have any, any, I don't handcuff relationships. Right, but you would like him to come and live with you. Under a Gandhi program where I rehabilitate him with President Obama and President Umala's oh, lesson. Mary, I mean. Uh, no, but I mean, when, when he's free, he's free to go. What does President Obama have girlfriend. to do with anything? Yeah. Help me out here. Okay. First of all, I think you can uh, take the mic. You got it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna sit over here because I, I, I honestly don't know what to, what to do. I think first of all, President Obama has more important things on his hand. Okay. okay. I feel a sadness for you. Okay. And a compassion because I think you are extremely bright, and I think that you real when you use your name with Gandhi. I'm gonna even add in Mother Teresa. Dalai Lama. I mean, I think I, you could really do some good things in the world, but I think that you have put yourself in, I don't understand the position. And I also want to know if you have a book deal going now. No. Hi. You would like to rehabilitate him. However, you have also said that he is not guilty of anything. So what are we rehabilitating him for? Well, I'm confused. You said he's not guilty and he's done nothing wrong. So. Rehabilitation is for gambling. We all have addictions. We, uh, violence, violence. We all have violence within ourselves. I'm willing to rehabilitate him for psychiatric care. Yaron says he's So when depressed. you say you're willing to rehabilitate him, he's going to live with you. And what are the rules? <laughs> no drugs. I have a zero tolerance policy on drugs. Well, that's no good. Alcohol. OK. So you're not going to allow him to do drugs. No, what else? No alcohol. No alcohol. So you've actually, you, you have actually thought this out. You, you've imagined him living in your house, and you've actually thought out a set of rules that he would have to live under. Absolutely. OK. Because that, that doesn't seem rational to me. That. Again, it's the leaders in society that have brilliant thoughts that the rest of society catches up on. Right. And I feel I'm a leader because I'm showing compassion, just like in the movie Powder, when Sean Patrick Flannery reached out and helped people who were suffering. I'm not familiar with the movie Powder. Okay. It's any, but it's interesting, though. I mean, look, I, I've never felt an audience so hostile to somebody. Okay. Um, and, and for someone who's putting compassion into the world, do you, do you understand why it... It doesn't frighten me. No, no, Anderson, no, it shouldn't frighten you. We're no, this listen. Is a, there's nothing to be frightened about. But, I believe but, in open discussion. It doesn't right. hurt me. I'm not offended. I believe in democracy and freedom of speech. Right. I, I'm just trying to understand, and I... I mean, I... I but I, I have a paradigm shift. I'm trying to paradigm shift society to being more compassionate to those who are suffering. Those who have been abandoned and hated. But there's plenty of because people to be compassionate about. Uh, why are you focusing on the guy who happens to be one of the most well-known 
murderers because uh, I'm trying to show that violence begets violence and if we can intersect that violence cycle we can bring more peace and love to this world but, but, you know, and there, I'm willing are, to stand up and be killed for it there, there are there are people you know prisoners of conscience around the world there are people you know languishing in jails who have, don't have access to good attorneys there are people you know who have been separated from their children and can't afford attorneys three to get their prisoners. kids back you could help them uh, I but am. It's not going to make headlines, but but you could help them, I but am. you're not. I am. I'm representing. I'm representing a friend of mine in a Texas prison. He wanted quick money, so he became a mule, transported marijuana across the border, and now faces a 10-year pr prison sentence. I'm representing him. I'm representing. How much money have you given that prisoner? Uh, just $150. <laughs> But but he was just incarcerated. I mean, it's 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 easy. I mean, I, I, I you know, I, I mean, I, I just want to dial things down a little because it is easy to kind of see this all as a joke and and or just crazy. And but I'm willing but, to stand up to ridicule because I believe in helping people out. Anderson. Right, but there are real people here and real victims here. You know, there's a girl dead in in Aruba or, or missing in Aruba, been declared dead. I have the there, utmost compassion. There's a girl who's been murdered in Peru. For Natalie Holloway and Stephanie, I pray to them often. It, it doesn't seem, though. I mean, you you continue to reach out to their families, and their families continue to tell you, "We want nothing to do with you." It's in understanding violence, Anderson, that we can prevent it. I'm trying to understand what went on in Lima, Peru, in May 2010. But so this will never happen on. to another Stephanie right. Flores. But don't we know what went on because Joran Vandersloot himself has told us what went on in in that hotel room? But yes. I want to know about Elton Garcia and Ricardo Flores. Are they Secret Service? Uh, okay. And did they so again, you him? say you have compassion for Stephanie Flores, and yet you continue to besmirch the father of this girl. You know nothing about this man. You're making these ridiculous allegations about Secret Service and CIA, and I mean that, those, that is the talk of, of delusion. I, I, I'm sorry no, to say that. No. Mary, I have a question for you. You're saying that you're trying to stop a violence and just nip it in the bud. Why, if you're trying to stop violence and you are considering this man a good person, why are you on national TV trying to say all this about this man when there's people that supposedly as, uh, uh, incriminate his family by saying that we're going to shoot them or, or whatever? You know, it's, it's just ridiculous. If you're saying that people are trying to hurt his family, that's why he's saying that he's guilty, then why are you on TV trying to say that he's not guilty? I mean, aren't they going to hurt you also? Well, listen. When someone threatens Yaron von der Sloot's family with murder, that's a very serious yeah. thing. That can pervert a guilty plea. But why are you okay. on TV? Uh, I'm on TV to try to find out the truth. I'm reaching out that's to people. His job to do, not yours. You're not his lawyer. But I'm also trying to spread the message of Left for Dead. That's you're what I represent. You're not doing anything for us here, honey. All you're doing is making us look at you negatively because you're defending a man that's committed a crime. <laughs> That's all you've done. What, what did you want to say? I, I don't mean to put you down, but if you are broke and you've got a great job, you're a radiologist, are you concerned that you could possibly, like, lose your job? My husband's a radiologist, and I just know in his group, his practice, if he acted that way, they would be like, you're gone. Yes. No. I am strictly business at work. I'm a professional. I don't talk about my personal life at work. But, but do you worry, I mean, about no, no matter how professional you are, if somebody believes you are crazy. What? He's crazy. I'm a nurse. <laughs> if somebody believes that, are they going to want to come to you? Or, do, or is your employer going to Do you worry about that? No, I keep my personal life separate from my business. And at my job, I highly respect my employer. I do not reveal where I work. I show respect to my employer who likes to be neutral. I have my own private life, and I keep those two things separate. So we, we got to stop. You, as we leave you, you are going to continue to support your and Vandersloot, albeit with smaller sums of money. Yes. You're going to continue to, to think about him and, and correspond with him. Yes. And in the hopes that one day he may come live with you under a Gandhi program and you will be able to somehow reform him. Yes. I'm still fighting for his civil rights there. They have him in solitary confinement, and the United Nations states that's a form of torture.
All right. Well, there, there's plenty of people in solitary confinement uh, right. for, for various periods of time. Uh, Dr. Mary Hamer, I appreciate you, you being on uh, to, to explain yourself today. Thank you very much for, for being here. Thank you. Uh, we're out of time. Thanks for, uh, thanks for joining the continued conversation here online at AndersonCooper.com. Look forward to hearing what you have to say about today's show. Write your comments below. I'll see you next time.